We're learning more tonight about a young man who was shot to death near one of Toronto's busiest intersections Wednesday night. Police are identifying him as 18-year-old Gabrielle Nico. Now, Shannon Martin joined us now live from Young and Bloor. Shannon, you've been speaking with some of his friends today. Well, Mike, like everyone, they are still in shock. This is Young and Bloor. It's constantly busy. There are always hundreds of people out on the sidewalks, out in the street. But there was five shots fired, just one young man who was hit. Friends are remembering him today as somebody who spent a lot of time at a Catholic community centre and he also dreamed of being a rap artist. Through this misery so that you can kill yourself, beat yourself with a belt. I'm living in this hell, I must be cursed by the devil. They turn it's very sad, he's gone and now he's not here. And, and I'm going to miss him. A lot of people are going to miss him. Peter Bones still can't believe his friend is gone. This was the last time they saw each other, shooting Bones' latest music video just a few weeks ago at Woodbine Beach. Anything they want to play. That's Gabriel Nikov in the red hat. He was a big fan of Bones, and he too dreamed of becoming a rapper. He posted his own rhymes online. Yeah, he was very, very talented. I was actually surprised because he doesn't really talk about, um, um, he's not arrogant and he doesn't have ego. Um, um, and, and his wordplay was amazing. Since said, a friend of mine said, yo, uh, you know Gabe in your video? You know he died. I'm like, what is, yo, he's all over the news. Nakov was at Young and Bloor around 8 Wednesday night. Witnesses reported seeing some kind of argument when five gunshots erupted. Despite potentially hundreds of witnesses, dozens of security cameras, the suspects got away. 18-year-old Nakov died. The flag at his high school, Central Toronto Academy, was lowered to half-mast. While it's a PA day, grief counselors were on site for any students needing support. And, you know, we're still just sort of reeling from it. Staff at St. Felix have known Nikov since he was in diapers, part of the Catholic Community Center's daycare program. As a teen, he was a regular volunteer at their holiday meal services. So young and just full of energy and, and always had a big smile on his face and was just always ready and willing to be helping out so it's a it's a real loss for the community and mike nakov's mother a single mom was also heavily involved at st felix center she's now getting as much support as she can from that community and shannon what do we know about the suspects well i did speak with Toronto Police today and we mentioned security cameras there is a lot of footage you know a lot of cameras around here so police are still reviewing that but really about the suspects they haven't released much information at all only saying that it was three white men wearing hoodies so police are hopeful that soon they'll be able to release a bit more details to the public okay Shannon thank you